Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Chicago. And today our question comes to us from Whitehawk. And Whitehawk asks about the Wiccan Reed in relation to insects. In this case, specifically flies and ants, but we'll answer it in general. And my answer to this is pretty much an extension of my answer to most questions about the Wiccan Reed, which is that when we say harm none, we mean harm in the sense that we would normally mean it in conversation. It should not, in my opinion, be taken to extremes, but rather should be used as we would normally use the word. And in this sense, the Wiccan Reed is a very commonsensical kind of rule that one can live one's life by. Now, some people try to take it to a great exaggeration, and at that point, people have justly pointed out you can't really live by it at all it becomes an abstraction and therefore irrelevant. And I think that a lot of people excuse a lot of bad behavior on the idea that you can't really live up to the Wiccan Reed. But the truth is, if you interpret the word harm in a normal manner, you absolutely can. Now, getting back to our question, is it harm to kill ants and flies in one's home? Which is basically Whitehawk's question. And the answer is, in my opinion, no, that is not normally what we would mean by the word harm. And uh, in general, I would say that killing flies and ants, and in some cases spiders in your home, really does not constitute harm in the sense of the Wiccan Reed. Now, if you try to exterminate every insect within 50 miles, that's another matter. Uh, and, you know, if you can take that spider and put it outdoors, that's certainly better. But this isn't really what the Wiccan Reed is meant to address. Now, I will also point out that insects can cause a number of problems to start with if your house is infested with them. That's a problem just by itself. But in addition to this, they often have historically born illnesses. The bubonic plague was born by fleas. Uh, malaria is born by mosquitoes. Uh, West Nile virus born by mosquitoes and a number of other things as well. And so we really do have to have a wary eye towards certain insects. We also here in Illinois have the brown recluse spider and the black widow both of them can cause serious injury or even death under the right circumstances. And so we do need to bear in mind that when we say that we belong to a nature-worshipping religion, it doesn't mean Walt Disney's version of nature. So I hope that answers your question. I'm going to be traveling tomorrow, so there won't be a vlog on tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, but I will be back by Wednesday, and uh, I would expect our vlogs will continue as normal. If you have questions, please feel free to send them in, and uh, join me Thursday for the Pagan Pundit radio show on PagansTonight.com. And join me here again on Wednesday, and until then, may you blessed be. But wait, don't forget our books, Witch School First, Second, and Third Degree, and also Living the Wicked Life, and Ritual in Theory and Practice, available at a bookstore near you, or get them direct from us at www.witchschoolstore.com.